It's Bryn Williams. Welcome back, Bryn. Morning, James. Uh, so on the menu is what? Popeye, Popeye salmon, curried mussels. Yeah. Um, so I need to get a move on. So if we can cook this in real time, if we get a move on. So we can cook salmon, mussels. If you can chop the vegetables into a, a brunoise, a, a large brunoise. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do first is just take the salmon. I'm just going to cut it down a little bit, just make it a little bit thinner so we can yeah. cook it in real time. And just goes to show, if you've prepared everything in advance, like we have everything here, yeah. you can cook dishes in advance very, very quickly in real time. You don't have to prepare and cook all day. So a nice right. warm frying pan. So you want a sort of large, well, yeah, small dice, small but dice. not too small. Not too small. Okay. So we've seasoned the salmon, just scored the skin. Just so it that gets nice and crispy and stays flat into the frying pan. And that hopefully should take how long have we got? Uh, seven <laughs> minutes. Okay, that'll take seven minutes. <laughs> okay. So we've got all the, the fishes in, not yep. chopping the vegetables. The next thing we want to do is cook the mussels. And again, it's very important with the mussels, if we've got any mussels which are open, yeah. you should not use them. So these are all the best well, way to is. tell that is just wash them. And wash them, yeah. yeah. If they're closed, it means they're alive. So that's the best thing we need to do. Right. So we're going to take some onion into the mussels. Yeah. A little bit of parsley stock. Now, th this little bit that you, the, well, the, the dish that you're doing, creating now, the sauce to go with it, it's inspired by your time at La Gavaroche, isn't it? Yes, I was uh, lucky enough to work for the, for the Rue Brothers for three yeah. years at La Gavroche. And this is one of the dishes we used to do on lunch menu, yeah. was um, mouclad, which is a muscle, it's more of a soup. Yeah. We just changed it out of that more into a, a garnish that we, that we use with the salmon. So this is a dish that was taught the gavosh. And I think yeah. working in those kind of places are amazing. You get to learn so much, you see all the ingredients, and you know, the, you know, the legacy, what the Rue Brothers have, have created. Yeah. You know, most of the chefs in Britain, you can have been somehow through the Rue family yep. in one way or another. And I think it's fantastic. Because you've been, this is the thing that you've been working on. It's on we'll TV tomorrow night, isn't it? It's starting tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, good food sh uh, channel. Yeah. And I've, you know, said my opinion, what I think of the yeah. Rue family. And I think if it wasn't for the Rue brothers, we wouldn't have all these dishes, all these great chefs. And I think we have a lot to thank do. the Rue family. So, do. you chop the vegetables. What yep. we're going to do first is add the onions. Get them coloured off, nice and warm. Again, we're going to see, lightly season the vegetables. Just because we're cooking the mussels, we're going yep. to keep the juice. So the juice right. is quite salty to go into the dish. So in it goes. A little bit of butter for you. Concentrate you on this because they yeah. will be watching. I know, yeah. Make sure it's right. You make sure you <laughs> cut it right, otherwise they'll be yeah. throwing you up as well. Okay, so, so in with the onions. And you see now, the mussels are cooked. Yeah. And the way we know the mussels are cooked is they've all opened up. So these are now partially yep. cooked. What we need to do now is just drain the mussels. Leave them to cool down a little bit. Right. And then we can just literally pick them out of the shell. Yeah. And obviously we want to keep the liquid, loads of flavour in there, so that's important that we keep the liquid. You want me to do these then? Yes, please. Yeah. There's a sink so, in the back if you want to wash your hands. Yeah. You so we've got a little bit of uh, onion, a little bit of curry powder. Again, you can put as much or as little curry powder in as you want. For yeah. me, I'm not, I don't like very, very hot curries, but I like a little bit of spice. So if you like it nice and spicy, put more in. If you don't, take it out. That's mild curry powder. You That's right, mild right? curry powder. And if you like my dad, you don't put any curry powder at all in it. He doesn't <laughs> like curry powder. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That's what happens when you're a farmer's son. You know what I mean? Okay, so in with the vegetables, yeah. in with the potatoes. In with the carrots. We just want to sweat this down now. Start to soften them all off. Sounds now, last time, last time you were on, and particularly your debts, you'd just opened this, um, well, like a chef's table, but like a little private dining room. It is. Um, what we've done is we've created a chef's table, but you have your own private chef. So there'll be a chef allocated just to your table. So you can have a chef's table experience, but in your environment. You're not sat in the middle of the kitchen, all the heat and the noise. Love that. So it's all about, you can see how we cook your dinner, you can yeah. get involved. Some of the customers get up and cook their own souffle. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's all, it's all depends how involved you, you want to be. Hey. So we do less work and we, pe we charge them. It's <laughs> great fun. But that's the thing, a lot of people now are interested to see how a thing is prepared, you know, the method of cooking, and what we've done is created this room where you can 
you can actually ignore us if you want to, and we leave you alone. Yeah. Or you can get involved to help to cook your own dinner. Right. And that's what's great about it. Now, the okay, secret so of cooking these quite small, or just cooking these quite small, is they all cook at the same time. All yeah. cook at the same time. A lot of people think, oh, it's being chef for you and we're, we're showing off. But what it is, if you cook them all the same size, they'll cook at the same time. Yeah. So you don't got a raw one and a right. and a and an overcooked one. Do you so, keep this juice in here, or yes, we're going to put a little bit of white wine right. into the vegetables. We're going to take some of this juice now. Yeah. Again, reducing <laughs> it. Keep it nice and quick. Tip is to leave that in it, really, and let the if let there's any grit or anything exactly, that settles yeah. on the bottom. Don't Very it, really? important. You don't want to pour in the grit in there yeah. at all. I'm just going to turn over the salmon. You see a nice crispy mm. skin there. Yeah. Mm. And when, it's important now that we reduce the liquid. Yeah. Don't go throw the cream straight in. So it's very important that we reduce the liquid. Right. Remember, if you like to ask a question on the show, then you then you can call oh it's seven one six forty one forty one forty one. Calls cost ten p a minute from BT Lightline. Mobiles and other networks may vary. And if you need to put your question to us live, a little later on, and don't, you can, you, don't forget you can find Michelle Roos, sorry, uh, Bryn's recipe, <laughs> <laughs> along with all the student recipes for today's show. BBC dot co forward slash Saturday Kitchen. So the vegetables are cooking, yep. reducing the, the, the white wine and the, uh, the mussel stock in with some right. double cream. Not too much cream, it's not, you don't want it too heavy. It's all about the balance of flavours. And that's one thing the Rue brothers teach you. It's about a balance of ingredients and flavours. So a little bit of salt in there to finish off. That's enough. How many, more, how many yeah, of these do you want? Enough. Is that enough? I think that's enough. It's important now, these mussels are cooked. We don't want to boil them. We just want to heat them up. So yeah. we add it into the, into the sauce. And what we can do now is, let's see, turn the heat off, because the, the mussels are cooked. Add the chopped chives, and hopefully... Now, are you just cooking that in, what, a little bit of butter and olive oil? We like just, salmon, or we what? just, let's see, start off in, in olive oil, yep. and then finish off in butter, just to keep it nice and moist. If you start off in butter, what happens, it will burn instantly. Yeah. So it's very important you start off in olive oil, then add the butter towards, you know, the, at the end of the cooking. Sounds so, good, mate. Sauce is there. Do you want some black pepper for that? Just a little bit of black pepper. A bit of squeeze. Lemon juice. There you go. Now this is when okay. you could just serve that as a little soup. That, at the Garbos, that's what we did. That was served as a soup for lunchtime. We just yeah. adapted it so it's a little bit lighter, a little bit, bit you know. The Do you think the that dish at the Gavros was good enough? You had to change no, it? No, 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 I'm not saying that at all. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you get me into trouble, are you? Yeah, no, well, funny enough, he's on the phone now. Do you is want to he? No, to no, I don't, no. I'm only joking. You're just, you know, you always, I think it's important as a chef you put your own personality on things. And this is my yeah. twist on it that I just loved it as, as the ingredients and the combination of flavour. I just think by changing something that you love into something that's already fantastic, you just put a twist on it, you can't go wrong. And I just think, we're just going to finish off. A little bit of lemon juice. There you go. Turn it off. And that salmon you can serve nice and pink in nice the middle. Nice and pink. Yours. It's important you can serve nice and pink. And that is my pan fried salmon curried mussels. Easy as that. Otherwise, the All in real time. <laughs> <laughs>
tangy aftertaste in your mouth, just like the lemon and the chives in Bryn's dish. Bryn, your dish looks and tastes absolutely fantastic, and this is just the wine to drink with it.